Hello everyone, my name is Kyle and I'll be reading to you guys again today. Uh, I'm going to be reading Henry and the Buccaneer Bunnies, written by Carolyn Crimmie and illustrated by John Manders. Cruising the seven seas on a rickety old ship called the Salty Carrot sailed a wild, rowdy band of Buccaneer Bunnies. They were bad, bad bunnies, all right. When pirates on other ships saw their long floppy ears and their fluffy white tails, they shook with fear. The captain of the Salty Carrot was Barnacle Black Ear, the baddest bunny brute of all time. Black Ear was proud of his wooden paw, his golden earrings, and his mean reputation. What Black Ear was not proud of was his son, Henry. Instead of performing his proper pirating duties, Henry was more interested in reading the books the Buccaneers stole from other ships. Shout, shiver me timbers, Black Ear ordered. I'd rather finish this chapter, said Henry. Make this prisoner walk the plank. Can't I just read about it? asked Henry. Find yourself a parrot for your shoulder. First, I need to read up on parrot care, said Henry. Buccaneer bunnies don't need books, said Black Ear. Toss them overboard, he yelled to the other bunnies. No, wait, cried Henry. Let me just finish them first. Avast, cried Black Beard. Swab the decks until ye come to your senses. And so Henry swabbed the decks day after day while reading some of his favorite books, like Robinson Crusoe and Thirty Days to Longer Ears. Bet ye can't learn how to do this from a book, Jean Leher said while sharpening his hook. Henry sighed and turned the page. You'll never find booty like this in a book. Calico Jack Rabbit said, holding up his st stolen loot. Henry shrugged and turned the page. Can't do this with a book in your paw, Bartholomew Bunny said while sanding his peg leg. Henry just turned another page. As much as he loved his books, Henry was a lonely buccaneer bunny, if ever there was one. Then one morning, he looked up at the red sky and wriggled his little pink nose. He heard the parrot squawk and saw fish jumping out of the water. If my books on meteorology are correct, those signs mean a big storm is heading this way, he thought. Henry tried telling Jean Leher about the upcoming storm. Excuse me, but I believe a storm is coming. But Jean was too busy polishing his pieces of eight. Go back to your books, Henry. He tried telling Calico Jack Rabbit. I'm pretty sure a storm is on its way, Henry said. But Calico Jack was too busy admiring his tattoo of a cabbage. Don't bother me now, Henry. Finally, Henry cried, Batten down the hatches! A huge storm is coming! What do you know about storms? Black Ear demanded. Get back to swabbing the deck before I make shark bait out of those books of yours. Henry did as he was told, but he kept his little pink eyes on the skies. When he saw rats abandoning the ship, he started packing up his books in empty treasure chests. The storm started small. A few low grumbles of thunder, a spike of lightning. Then suddenly, a crashing, bashing, thrashing wildcat of a hurricane broke loose. It shook the ship. Suffering sea dogs! It mangled the masts. Great blimey bilges! It slashed the sails, damaged the deck, and ripped up the rickety old salty carrot. All that was left floating on the choppy waters were a bunch of soggy bunnies and Henry's treasure chests filled with books. When the storm finally calmed down, Black Ear, Henry, and the rest of the buccaneers paddled to the nearest island. We're ruined, wailed Black Ear. No ship, no pieces of eight, no gems. 
He sat in the sand and blubbered like a lily-livered land lover. But Henry got to work. The first thing he did was build a two-story hut out of palm fronds and coconuts. How did you learn to do that? asked Blackbeard. I read it in 101 Things to Do with Palm Fronds and Coconuts, replied Henry. Next, he built a fire and cooked up a tasty, tasty seaweed soup. Blimey, said the hungry bunnies. Where'd you learn that? I found the recipe in Quick and Easy Meals for Maroon Pirates, said Henry. Then he made them all fetching garments from the bits and pieces he had salvaged from the shipwreck. We look like gentle bunnies, we do. What swank swashbucklers we are. Ah, and it's all from them land-lubbin' books, said Black Ear, shaking his head. Henry taught Black Ear and the buccaneer bunnies all kinds of useful things, like how to plant carrots, make the best sandcastles, and build boats out of palm fronds. Soon they built a new ship. which they sailed to the library at the nearby Easter Islands every summer. Here the bunnies spent many happy hours, slurping seaweed stew and reading books. Aye, buccaneer bunnies will always need books, said Black Ear. Henry just smiled and turned the page. And that's the end of our story. Thank you everybody for watching today. Make sure to tune in next time for another book, and we'll see you all next time.